Okay, here's an introduction to these metronome exercises. They are designed to be played on any instrument. I happen to be playing them on a practice pad because I think the balance works nice with my uh, voice and then the hands. Uh, if I were to play on a snare drum, for instance, that would be way too loud compared to my voice. And a lot of the instruments, um, you will need your mouth to count out loud, so it's hard to do. Uh, but you could play this on a string instrument. You could strum and just mute the strings. You could play it, play these uh, staccato on a wind instrument. You could play them, you could really play them on any instrument. A keyboard, same thing, just pick a note and play the rhythms on that note. Or you can make up your own notes for the rhythms if you like. Um, maybe make sure you're comfortable with them on one note. Once you get comfortable on one note, then try to add some notes around, improvise notes while you're playing the rhythms. Um, a couple of other helpful hints. Um, when you're going, when you're working on these slowly, take special care to notice how the notes interact with the beat. So, for instance, if I'm playing, if I'm playing the E's, the downbeats are here. Can you hear exactly where that is? You should be hearing this straight sixteenth notes in your head. If it's on the uh, then it's going to be right before each metronome beat. Eighth notes should be alternating between the beat and right in between the beat. And then if you're doing E's and uhs, if you're just doing E's and uhs, you should notice that they actually fall, it's the same feels the same as eighth notes. If you listen to that slowly, for instance, let's go down to 60. hear that they still sound like if I stop the metronome it sounds just like those eighth notes did a second ago. you just delay each one a little bit so as you speed up Here's 120. I'm going to try and get those to balance. It's kind of like walking on a railroad track. If, if you lean one way, meaning you get a little too early or a little too late, then you have to shift your balance back to get in the middle again. A couple of notes there that weren't exactly where I wanted them. Um, but you want to practice like doing that enough times that when you get off, you can shift, you can shift back to the right position. Um, counting is very important on these. If you're having trouble and you're not able to play them fast, I would recommend slowing down and counting all the 16th notes. For instance, if I'm doing uh, number one moderate, you can count. The way I would normally count this is 1 E, a 2 E, a 3 and 4 E, a 1. But if I'm having trouble with the rhythms, I can slow it down a little bit more and count all the 16th notes. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 
two E and a three E and a four. That is a very helpful technique for um, hearing what the rhythm sounds like inside the counts. And one technique for speeding that up is just to get it going as fast as you can while you're still counting. So take that rhythm that I just played, speed it up as fast as you can count it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one. If you can do that, even if the syllables are a little slurred, but in your mind, if you can still hear them correctly, then it's a short step to go from there, speeding up just a little bit more where you can't say the syllables that fast, and then just saying the syllables that you're playing. One E, a two E, a three and four E, a one E, two, a three and four E, a one E, two, a three E, four, a one E, a two E, a three and a four. At this speed, it would be really hard to one E and a two E, right? So it's about the same speed, isn't it? One E and a two E and a three E. So, if you're going fast enough that you can't one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two, I can't really say the syllables that fast. But I can play them because I can say them that fast in my mind. And then I just line that up with the metronome while I'm listening to it. This might be the trickiest thing about learning to use a metronome properly, is siphoning off 10% of your brain power that's thinking about what notes you're going to play and what the counts are and uh, what your tone is and where you're hitting the instrument or where your fingers are or what your embouchure is doing, whatever's happening. Um, you have to siphon off 10% of your brain to connect the rhythms that you're trying to play with that slow click on the metronome. That's a tricky thing that takes practice. Um, but these exercises are designed to give you some practice with it. If you can think of any helpful intermediate, if I've skipped too much, if I've gone too fast with the faster speeds, if you'd like something in the middle, maybe quarter note 100, if you want me to go ridiculously slow counting everyone, I'm happy to do that. If you want me to talk about each rhythmic figure and how it's counted separately, uh, let me know. This is dis directed to my theory students in spring 2020. Um, let me know what I can do to help you. I want you to get all these. You don't have to be able to do them all at 120, but you need to understand how they work at 100 beats per minute or so. And you should definitely have a metronome that you're using to practice these. Um, a couple of them I had to practice before I could record them. There are a number of them that I made a mistake the first time through. Um, but if I had to, if I made more than one mistake, I actually stopped and had to practice it. There's only one I really had to practice seriously. But there are a number of them that I made a mistake just from not being able to do it four times through. Um, that's part of the exercise. It's going to take you, presumably going to take you more repetition than I had to do. But these are not easy, especially the difficult ones and at a faster speed. So take this as a goal and don't feel frustrated if you can't get it this week. This is something you may spend a few weeks on. But if you can do all 15 of these rhythms at quarter note equals 100 and you can do most of them at quarter note equals 120, then you're going to be in good shape to be really comfortable with all the syncopations on 16th notes in X over four time signatures. Hope this helps and make sure you let me know if there's anything I can do to help help you learn these. Uh, have a good day. Good week. Bye-bye.